A virtual environment is an isolated workspace that allows you to manage dependencies for your Python projects independently. Oh. This allows you to simultaneously work on multiple projects from the same machine, each with its own set of libraries and packages without conflicts. So you ask, why is virtualization important? Well, imagine you're working on multiple projects where one project requires a specific version of a library and another project requires a different version. Without virtual environments, you'd run into a bunch of issues and you'd likely have to give up coding, spiraling into a deep depression. But yeah, if you're using virtual environments, you're all good, eh? Let's spin up our first virtual environment. Open your terminal and navigate to your project directory. You're gonna run this command, python minus m vnv myenv underscore test. You can replace myenv underscore test with whatever name you like. However, I'm gonna name mine myenv underscore test. After executing this command, you'll see a new folder in your project directory named myenv underscore test or whatever you named your virtual environment. Congratulations, you've created a virtual environment. The fun doesn't end here though, as we actually still need to activate it, install libraries, and handle a requirements.txt file. To activate the virtual environment, you're going to need to first CD into the virtual environments directory, and then into the scripts subdirectory. The activation script varies depending on your operating system. If you're on Windows, type period backslash activate.ps1 and hit enter. For Mac OS or Linux users, you'll need to type source myenv forward slash bin forward slash activate. Once your virtual environment has been activated, you'll notice that your terminal changes to include the name of your virtual environment, indicating that the environment is therefore active. Nice! Any packages you now install will be isolated to this environment. If you'd like to deactivate this environment at any point, type deactivate and hit enter. Your terminal will then return to its normal state. Once your virtual environment has been activated, you can install packages by using pip as usual. For example, let's install the requests library by typing pip install requests. Once executed, this command installs the requests library to the virtual environment. Note, if you deactivate the environment and try to use the requests library, it won't actually work unless requests is also installed globally. A good practice when working with virtual environments is to keep track of your dependencies using a requirements.txt file. You can generate this file by running pip freeze greater than requirements txt. This command lists all installed packages and their versions and then pipes them to a requirements.txt file which you can then share with others or use it to recreate the same environment on another machine. To install dependencies from a requirements.txt file you can just run pip install minus r requirements.txt. If you ever want to remove a virtual environment just delete the environment folder. In my case my env underscore test. If you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.